Revolt of the Dwarves, an Endless Quest book. The Dryad's large brown eyes turned toward you once again. What do you want, human? Would you like to go with me and see things few mortals have ever dreamed of? Or would you like to get shrunk and go with someone you can barely see? Thank you very much, but I think I should stay with Whimsy, you say nervously. The Dryad does not speak, but the air is charged with electricity. I should have known you would not have the courage. Few humans do. Very well, then. Drink the potion and go with Whimsy, but don't come back whining if you don't like what happens to you. Angrily, she snatches a flower, pours a white milky liquid into its cupped petals, and thrusts it towards you. Not wanting to admit to her that you are afraid, you quickly swallow the thick fluid. An icy, shivery tingle covers your body. You struggle under a heavy, clinging weight. Suddenly, you will realize that you are being smothered by your own clothes. Great, says Whimsy, you're just right. You realize with a shock that you and Whimsy are now exactly the same size. I I'm shrunk. I I'm really shrunk, you cry, excitedly examining your new and tiny self. Oh, stop carrying on. That's what we came here for. You should be happy that it worked. Here, put these on. Uh, they're second hand, but they'll do. Unless you want to go around looking like that, she says with a giggle. You snatch the clothes she hands you and change quickly inside the giant folds of your old clothing. Wow, Galen, you look really good. How come I keep changing colors? Oh, because all pixie clothes are woven out of spider silk. It's almost good as chameleon skin, but these are only second best. We hide extra clothes in different places around the forest for different emergencies. Whimsy turns to the tree spirit. Thank you very much for your help, Dryad. Hmm, goodbye, whispers the creature, and she slowly dissolves back into the mist and fades into her tree. Does she always come and go like that? Oh no, we were lucky. Sometimes it's very hard to find her if she doesn't even want to be found. Well, what about being small? Am I going to stay this way forever? Hmm, you know, I'm not really sure, says the pixie. I've never really shrunk a human before. Besides, there's nothing wrong with being this size. I think it's just grand. <sighs> never mind, you say with a sigh. But now that I'm the right size, we'd better go. Okay, climb on behind me. You're light enough now for Woofy to carry both of us. She flies up to his back and looks down at you. You try to jump, but you do not succeed. Uh, down, Woofy, lie down, you command. Woofy turns around and licks you from head to toe, knocking you down. Whimsy giggles as she nearly falls off the dog's back. Oh, if you could only see how silly you look, she laughs. Your face is all red. You become quite angry and rise and stomp away. Oh, Galen, come back. I'm sorry. Really, I am. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Don't be angry. I I'll be good. Come get up here. But you walk into the dark without a wood, and far in the distance you see the bright red twinkling of a campfire, and the smell of most... Roasting meat hangs in the air. You begin to run. Wait, where are you going? Calls Whimsy. Over there. I'm tired, I'm hungry, and I'm cold. Maybe whoever made that fire will share their dinner with me. I don't like you anymore. You laugh and tease me. So just go away. Oh, Galen, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Please don't go. 
Why not? Because I might find someone else who will help me and be nicer to me. Oh, Galen, stop and think for a moment. This is an enchanted forest. You're not going to find anyone normal here. Anything you find will be dangerous. Pixie Honor, don't go. The clearing is very close now, and you can see a small, plump figure of a little old woman seated before the fire. She has thick gray hair and plump, rosy cheeks like your grandmother, and a fat chicken is roasting on the fire. What kind of monster is that, you demand? Well, she's a witch, dummy, says Whimsy. If you go to her, forget about the rest of your life. There won't be any. Don't expect me to help. Oh, you're just jealous, you say angrily. But a small doubt creeps into your mind. Vote one if you use a side to enter into the clearing to see the witch. Vote two if you decide not to enter the clearing and stay with Whimsy. Again, that's vote one to go into the clearing with the old grandma, or two, to stay with Whimsy and not enter into the clearing. Have a lovely and blessed day.